Why the military? Why did you choose the military? When I was a kid, my adoptive father was showing me the movies and stuff like that. He was really into it. He was in ROTC. His father before him was an Army Ranger in Omaha Beach, World War II. And he showed me Seven Private Ryan. And after that, I, I it was the camaraderie, the brotherhood, the something, being a part of something bigger than yourself that made me want to join since I was a kid. Are there any stories that you could share that that, that you won't get in trouble for sure. <laughs> no, yeah, I, when I was deployed in Iraq, my guys and the rest of my unit were spread out everywhere. And we got lucky enough to meet different people from all walks of life. And the ones that we were closest with was the Spanish army. And they were just amazing. They took care of us, we took care of them. It was a combination of culture. We learned so much from one another. And even though we were in a, an environment where, you know, you miss home, it's the holidays, it's Christmas, New Year's, we had each other, and they just made it worth it. How long were you in the military for? A total of eight years. While I was in that role, I was four years active duty. So today's your birthday. Did, uh, your eight years you were in the military, did you, have, did you have any memories of, like, celebrating your birthday? In the... Every time it was my birthday, I was never home uh, until the very last year. I was always either at training, when I went to basic training in AIT, uh, then I deployed, then I came back. But by the time I came back, it was already my birthday. By the next couple of years, I was ready to get out, so I was always gone. You know, I would learn to work with any kind of person, like any type of people, like no matter what the situation is, no matter how different we may be, there's going to be something that we can we can uh, get along about or something that we have in common and I'm going to use that for us to thrive and create a bigger and better team. If there's one thing I had to say to all my military brethren, it'd be keep your head on the swivel and do what you got to do to come back home.